Hello everyone. Hope everything is fine and everyone is safe and good. This video will be the second tutorial in our series that we are talking about the fabric materials in 3ds Max using Corona Render. So long story short, let's start. As you can see, I'm using the same studio that I used before in the last tutorial using the same light and the same base okay and we have this pro model that i will leave it as well in the description so you can download it as a gift for me okay and we have those two cameras one for the whole scene and one as a close-up so we can see the leather material that we will make here and the fabric material that we will make up there so I will start I will go to the front camera and I will start the interactive okay I will increase the size a little bit so we can see what we have here first first of all I will work a little bit for the metal of the armature so I will open material from here and I will let's make this one okay and if you can see that I prepared some materials here that we will use for the chair so if you notice here we have the metal reflection glossiness for the metal that I will use so I will choose the base color that will be right I will change this from corona physical material into a corona legacy material from here corona legacy material and I will choose the black color a quick tip never use the 0 or 255 even for the white color or for the black color use one or two but don't use the zero or yeah, I mean, don't use the minimum or the maximum color okay so I will use the black color for here I will set this for two and from here I will increase the reflection so we will have this result from here just like this but i will add uh, the glossiness material from here i will go to bitmap and i will choose the matter reflection just like this and we will see the effect here for sure i will reduce the glossiness a little bit so maybe i will go to 0.85 just like this okay so i will if you want i will ungroup this okay and i will choose the metal from here just like this and i will assign it and we can see easily the nice effect of the metal that we create and here we can see the reflection of the light from the scene that we have those lights are showing here on the metal okay and now we can start with our fabrics material so at first I will work with the fabric material because the base of the chair will be leather material so let's go to this and change it also to legacy material from here and I will choose this and this and I will assign it here so whenever we change anything now it will show automatically in our interactive okay the first rule that we learned last time that whenever we want to use a fabric material we will use fall off so we will go to fall off and from here we will choose the bitmap that we will work with which will be this we can open it and see it this is our texture from here so I will choose it just like this and you can start noticing that we have the effect from here but the scale is big and I believe that I chose the wrong uh, model so I will select this sign this here and select the other one Okay, this one this one okay just like this 
okay and I will copy this here copy I will not put instance because I will change the brightness of this material and this differently so I don't want them as an instance okay so we can notice that the scale is a little bit big so we can change it from here from the tiling uh, let's see if we go to three and by three okay as well we will change from here three by three don't forget that I think it's still a little bit big so I will go maybe by 4x4 four four, and I will change it here also 4x4 four four. okay sure we can we could use the UVW map but for now we will use this technique it's better I think for this example okay now we want to mix between the dark side and the bright side so we will go for the front of the fall off and we will change the bitmap from here into a corona and we will change it into a color correction I will tell him to keep the old material and from here I will change the lightness go to advanced and I will make it darker below one it's darker above one it's brighter so I will go with this 0.8 and for the other one I will go for the same steps color correction yes keep and from here I will make it brighter let's say 1.5 and now we can see the mix between them and we can notice a little bit the reflection of the fabric fabric will not have the reflection we will not put a reflection for the fabric material as we made here we will play it with the fall off and we will play with the mix curve from here we will see now but I will make it maybe more 1.8 just like this okay and that's why I made it I clone it as a copy not instance so from here I will add a point as we learned before and I move this let's say from here I will right click Bezier smooth if you want just like this you can see the difference in the result that we are having maybe I will add a point another point from here and just like this this one I will make it also smooth so this will be good I think let's try to go to the close-up material and see what we have perfect I will zoom out a little bit the hand of the chair maybe we will make it leather as the base so we will have a nice composition okay we can notice the result from here as easy as that it's not complicated as well and we can see the mix curve that we made with the points here it's a little bit darker here it's brighter in the middle it's here it's brighter than darker so that's what that's how we have the reflection of the fabrics material sure not from here if I increase this we will have a we will have a very bad uh, effect even if we reduce the glossiness let's say for this and reduce a little bit the uh, reflection it will not be as rea realistic as what we did before so this I will make it zero again and that the result that I want to have so I will go from here also to I will see what I have I have the bum for the 
fa this fabric so from here I will choose bitmap and I will choose the bump sure we will make the tiling as what we assigned before for the base the both images are the same scale so logically we will put the same tiling I believe we put four so now we have the bump maybe we, we need to increase it a little bit let's go to two okay from here I think we can see better yeah yep so two maybe it's good let's increase a little bit 2.5 or 2.1 a little bit okay perfect for me that's all what I will do with this fabric material we can notice a little bit the bump and we can see the nice effect for the mixing of the bright and dark fabric creating the nice reflecting result okay so now I will go to the front camera again and I will choose the base model so we can make the leather material so also I will change this to legacy material and from here as we agreed we should start with the fall off because we are working with a leather or or a fabric material so we will go to the fall off and we will choose you can see the difference between the black and white from here and from here we will choose the bitmap and we will choose the leather material that we prepared and it will be like this okay so we will choose this one and for the other fall off I will clone it as instance this time because I don't want to change the uh, brightness between them but I will increase the uh, sorry I will change the curve from here I will add a point I will change it to smooth maybe and I will go just like this I'll change the curve the point from here and we can notice it's dark but um, yeah let's try to change the reflection first then we will see if we need to increase the brightness of it or no from here I will increase the reflection like this but we will change the glossiness let's go to 0 0.8 Okay, better I'll go to 0.65 yeah much better even it's dark but with the reflection effect I'm very satisfied with the uh, degree of the color uh, I think if I go to the close-up camera I can see more you can see here the uh, Taylor effect okay we can notice that the scale of the map it's, is very big so from here I will go and change this to let's say 3 and from here 3 why not I will change it to 5 by 5 okay from here and I will add a glossiness material which will be this reflection glossiness material from here and for sure I will change the tiling like this we can notice the detailed effect that we are having for the leather material from here I will go again to the front camera so I can see what I had here yeah very nice okay I believe I will copy also this one to the reflection material from here yes keep it instance 
So if you can notice from here, we made the fall off. We put the base material for the leather and for the reflection and reflection glossiness. We add the reflection map for the leather as well. And for the last step, I will add the bump material. And if we notice the bump materials like this, and it's a normal map. So we will go here and we will choose Corona normal from here. And the most important thing, don't forget to check the add gamma into input. And from here, I will choose the bump material just like this and we can see now the effect of the bump it's very big and it's very strong so from here i will make it three by three let's see what will happen okay that's nice but now we will want to reduce the power of the bump to not have this effect so maybe we will go to here and instead of 1, we'll go to 0 0.3, maybe. Yeah, see? You can notice a little bit effect from here. And for here, yeah, much better. Maybe you can reduce it a little bit more. Let's go to 0 0.1. Okay, from here we can go to 0.5 as well. Okay, if you want to change the color of the uh, leather or to make it brighter, you can go to the material of the fall off, change this, the whole material to color correction. From here you can increase or decrease the value of what you want. So if I go here, for me, I like the result but just for you if you don't want it that much dark or you want to change the color of it just from here go and increase the value of the material I don't know what's happening with the uh, interactive okay now it's uh, gray let's go to 1.5 for example yeah that's better I have to <laughs> stop and restart it again. I don't know why. Anyway, okay, I will keep it to one, just like this. And I will go to the close up camera and I can see the effects that I have for the fabric that we made before, for the leather that we are, we just finished. I will change a little bit the camera. I will zoom out maybe to here so you can see the details that we have for me I'm very satisfied with the result you can create and be creative with your own fabrics material and for sure not to limit your mind you can always refer for a reference from the uh, real world and you will have this fabulous result so for me that's all thank you for watching leave for me in the comments any question you want any request you want if you are asking for a pro model maybe i can bring it to you just ask for it put the link for me i can try to uh, model it or uh, creating the material for it we can make a tutorial for that so i don't mind uh, write for me in the comments what your what is your opinion about this tutorial so that's it bye bye